Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is actually a You Pick Tuesday matchup. Mark, could you a comparison, as I believe he meant, could you do a comparison of Dorian Yates back? And then he actually went on to explain, like the one that I did with Phil Heath. Now I'm just going to go through all the years of Dorian Yates, and I'm going to decide which one the best one to hit the rear double buy and the rear lat spread, and maybe we'll even take a look at the Christmas tree. So we're not going to see any pictures like this. So it's obviously he's training, a photo shoot, and we won't see any pictures like this either. It's a very, very skimpy back development in compared to what he did develop, but he probably is natural here. And third and foremost, we're not going to see any off-season pitchers like this. Have you ever seen Dorian Yates? Quite so soft. But anyway, guys, let's get on to the comparisons. 1991, Dorian Yates, and 1992. 92, not the best for pitcher display. They were all tilted, the pitchers, and I I like to keep the pitchers straight on like they are here in 1991. So, considering that these two versions are very similar, I'm going to write off 1992, bring on 1993, and it doesn't really matter, does it, guys? Because 1993... Clearly, not only larger, when you look at the traps and the outer lats, and this is not the clearest pitcher, or not the best pitcher for lighting for 1993, but you can clearly see, guys, not only that size, but the conditioning of those glutes. He's on an entire different level altogether. So, let's advance on and bring 1994 on, and he's just a big, thick juggernaut, very thick but very unconditioned in 1994. Not even close, guys. He may have had the capabilities if he had the conditioning. Here's a straight on, a better, a, probably a better shot. And still, even in the, these two pitchers, he had the muscle. You notice his lats are more of a round shape to them. His traps are a little bit bigger as well in 94. But he doesn't have that V taper. You see that? 93 and the conditioning as well. So I think so far, 1993, much to probably nobody's surprise. Pulling ahead, let's bring on 1995. Now a lot of people are going to be rooting behind 95. He has bigger muscles. His lats are bigger. He doesn't have that perfect V taper like he does in 1993. And when you look at the glutes, mm, 93, 93. Now here's the other one. Maybe a little bit fair, more fair, because that previous one I used for 93, maybe not doing 93 justice, because clearly in this comparison, I would give 93 an edge. Look at the hamstrings and the glutes as well. Now, to be fair, guys, we're going to show, show you what I have, and this is another 95, and he is thicker. He has a bigger, thicker back development. But if you're judging this one seriously, guys, you have to look at those glutes. I mean, you have to consider that the better conditioned man, he's always going to win the matchup. So, much to my surprise, actually, 1993 is going to advance and bring on 1996. Again, he is bigger. His back did develop. It did get better. But if you're seriously judging this one, you're going to lean towards the the more conditioned, better glutes. Although I have to say, 1996, pretty darn conditioned. Now there is this one for 93, and the angles of the shot, totally different. And it does take away from the tops of the traps, even though 96, definitely better, bigger in the traps. Pretty conditioned too, when you look at the hamstrings. Fantastic, actually. Let's bring on 95 and 96. What a comparison here. A little bit more size for 95. A little bit more conditioning for 96. Hmm. Now, where would 1997 fall in this little matchup here? I mean, this is not exactly cut and dry, is it? 93, 97. Condition-wise, 93 for sure. He's very hard and grainy 
in 97, though, I will say, and much larger. He doesn't have that, I don't know if you would call it an aesthetic look that he had in 93, but still, 97, you cannot mess around with those traps. He's huge. Let's bring on 94 to see. These are two very thick, maybe not the best condition versions, maybe two, two of his worst versions, I guess you could say. I'm just curious now. How would 95 stand against 97? And I, wow, guys, you see that? His traps, he was probably at his biggest here in 1997. Look at the size of the traps, guys. And I'm surprised because 1995, known for being one of his larger versions. And what the heck, 97, 96, or 96, 97 here. 96, not without his charms, you know. Good condition. Better conditioned hamstrings. Maybe not as thick in the back, but he had quite a, you know, quite a bit of thickness back there. But I think when the dust settles, and this is probably going to, maybe, most people won't agree with this, but I think 1993, we take a close look, guys. Look at the hard vascularity. Not the biggest in the traps or the lats, but probably the best shape as far as V-taper. And the tight waistline. And no doubt, the best condition version as far as the glutes. Let's go to the next pose, the rear double bicep. 1991 again, and 1992. Now, I honestly don't think either one of these two versions are going to stand up against any of the bigger versions. But hey, we'll have a look at them anyway. And I'm surprised, you know. I think 1991, and I did this comparison before, I think 91 had a bigger set of arms. Looks like his traps are bigger as well. Here's a clear -er shot of 1992, and you know what? I think he was bigger. He looked bigger anyway in 1991 because if you look at the hamstrings, and even in the glutes here, he looks like he's drier in 1992. So really... He may have put a little bit more beef on, but he really got conditioned. He dried out, and I think, honestly, took a lot of the size. But I think overall a better version for 92. 92, 93. Ooh, not even close, guys. Take a look, pan back, and look at the back, the lats, the traps. Just impressive. Not only that, but the glutes. He's a different creature altogether. Arms, delts. Wow, guys, and the V-taper, much more improved. So 92, gone. 93, 94, V-taper, guys, V-taper. I'm surprised this time you can see the glutes for 94. Of course, it's it's a pretty much a write-off. Look at the arm. There's a torn bicep there, and the waistline much thicker for 1994. Kudos, though, good set of glutes. 1995, I always look at the bicep now that I see it. You can see that torn left bicep for 1995. Not as big as I thought. It was more of the rear lat spreads for these larger larger versions, perhaps. 93, maybe even getting a better, better edge. Apologize, better edge here in the rear double bicep than the other poses. Well, let's go on. Let's bring 96. And 96 is very impressive when you look at the back development, the hard crispness, the traps. And in the lats, very impressive. Hamstrings as well, but not the glutes. You notice that. And again, I hate to sound like a broken record. You look at the delts this time, as well as the bicep. 1993, much more aesthetic. This is, this is a little bit easier, I think, in the rear double bicep. Bring on 1997. Not even close, guys. He is a, the heaviest version, in my opinion. 97, and it shows. He's thick. He's de well developed in the back, traps, but there's no contest, guys. I think as far as the rear lat spread, the rear double by when the smoke is cleared, 1993 is by far your superior version. And we might as well take a look at the Christmas trees. I know this wasn't a mandatory shot, and we're running a little long, so don't forget to have your protein shakes as well, guys. Skip right on to 1993, and I think it's obvious, guys. You don't even need to do the comparison. Size-wise, you know 93 is going to be bigger, and look at the glutes and the back development as well. 
So let's bring on the opponents for 1993. Little soggy in the glutes for 1995. And when I say they're soggy in the glutes, I mean, come on. This is compared to Dorian Nates of 93. These glutes of 95 are in no way, shape, or form soggy. But that's a comparison, guys. 96, little tighter in those glutes. Maybe not as sharp. Maybe not as big in the, the, the lats. Big traps, but really the muscle separation hmm, doesn't speak to me like this 90-93 version. Not as clear as a victory, I don't think, in the Christmas tree. But for the most part, 1993 all the way. Let's bring on 97 to finish this one off. And see what I mean. The muscle fibers, they're not as sharp. It doesn't have as much impact. In 1997, and again, a little bit soggier in the glutes, if you could call these striated glutes soggy. Uh, that's what that's Dorian Yates. When you do a Dorian Yates comparison versus a superior version, you can say things like that, but only then, no other bodybuilder. But anyway, guys, in my firm opinion, and there's no question, 1993, Dorian Yates had his best back development, and there's an argument. That says the other versions were thicker and maybe had potential to defeat the 93, but never really got to that tight condition of 1993. But anyway, guys, this is an excellent idea for a U-Pick Tuesday matchup, so keep them coming. I mean, it was a little bit harder to get out in time. It took me a little bit longer to throw together. But anyway, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. I enjoyed doing it. Hit thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.